Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Coordinate Geometry. Here are the solutions of exercise 7.1 and this is part 4 video. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 8 and question number 9 of exercise 7.1. Here is the question. Show that the points minus 4, minus 7, minus 1, 2, 8, 5, 5 minus 4 taken in order are the vertices of a rhombus and find its area. I shall repeat. Show that the points minus 4, minus 7, minus 1, 2, 8, 5, 5 minus 4 taken in order are the vertices of a rhombus and find its area. This question is appeared in June 2015 and March 2018 of SSC public examinations. Now, now in order to solve this, first of all let us recollect the properties of rhombus. When can you say that a quadrilateral is a rhombus? Yes, good. In any quadrilateral, if all the four sides are equal, then you can say that the quadrilateral is rhombus. Rhombus is a quadrilateral in which all the four sides are equal. Good. Now let us verify this. Now look at the solution. Here we have given four points. These four are the vertices of the rhombus. Point A, vertex A minus 4 minus 7, vertex B minus 1, 2, vertex C 8, 5 and vertex D 5 minus 4. Now in order to find the first side of the rhombus, I mean let us find the length of AB or the distance between A and B. The distance of AB may be given by the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here x1, y1 are the coordinates of A and x2, y2 are the coordinates of B. Here you see we are finding the distance of AB therefore coordinates of A are x1, y1 and coordinates of B x2, y2. Therefore, x1, y1, x1 is minus 4 and y1 is minus 7. x2, y2, x2 is minus 1 and y2 is 2. First of all, x2 minus x1 whole square, that is minus 1 minus of minus 4 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, y2 is 2 minus of minus 7, 2 minus of minus 7 whole square. This is equal to minus 1 minus of minus 4 is plus 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 square, plus minus of minus 7 is plus 7, 2 plus 7 is 9 square, 3 square is 3, 3 is 9, plus 9 square is 9, 9 is 81, 9 plus 81 is root 90 units, it is the side of the first, one, two. it is the length of the first side. Now let us find the second side. BC. Here the coordinates of B minus 1, 2 will be x1, y1 and the coordinates of C 8, 5 may be x2, y2. Now BC distance root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is 8 minus of minus 1, 8 minus of minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1, y2 is 5 and y1 is 2. 5 minus 2 whole square. 8 minus of minus 1 is plus 1, 8 plus 1 is 9 whole square, plus 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 square. 9 square is 81, plus 3 square is 9, 81 plus 9 is equal to 90. Now, the third side CD now, third side CD. In order to find the length of the CD, the coordinates of C will be x1, y1 and the coordinates of D will be x2, y2. Now x2 minus x1 whole square, x2 minus x1 means 5 minus 8, 5 minus 8 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square minus 4 minus 5, minus 4 minus 5 whole square, minus 4 minus 5 whole square. What is 5 minus 8? 5 minus 8 is minus 3 whole square and what is minus 4 minus 5? Minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 whole square. Minus 3 whole square means minus 3 into minus 3. 
minus into minus a plus 3, 3 is 9. Plus minus 9 whole square minus into minus is plus 9, 9 is 81. Again 9 plus 81 is 90 units. Now the fourth side DA, fourth side DA, the coordinates of D, x1, y1 and the coordinates of A will be x2, y2. Now in order to find the distance of DA, again formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square x2 minus x1 means minus 4 minus 5 whole square minus 4 minus 5 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square minus 7 minus 4 minus 7 minus of minus 4 minus 7 minus of minus 4 whole square minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 square plus minus 7 minus of minus 4 is plus 4 Minus 7 plus 4 is minus 3 whole square. Minus 9 whole square minus into minus a plus 9, 9 is 81. Minus 3 whole square minus into minus is plus 3 square is 9. 81 plus 9 is again 90 units. If you observe, all the four sides of this quadrilateral are equal. Therefore, it is a rhombus. You see this. Since AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA, all four sides of the quadrilateral are equal, A, B, C, D is a rhombus. That is the first part of the problem. You see, we have to prove that, show that these points taken in order are the vertices of a rhombus. Now, what is the second part of the problem? We have to find its area also. Let us recollect the formula to find area of a rhombus. What is the formula to find area of a rhombus? Area of the rhombus is equal to half into D1 into D2. Half into D1 is the length of the first diagonal and D2 is the length of the second diagonal. Now, in order to find the area of this, first of all, you should find first diagonal length and the length of the second diagonal also you should find. Now, the first diagonal AC. First diagonal AC length is nothing but the distance between the points A and C. Again, distance formula root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Since we are finding the distance between A and C, the coordinates of A will be x1, y1 and the coordinates of C may be x2, y2. Coordinates of A, x1, y1. Coordinates of C, x2, y2. Now, x2 minus x1 whole square means 8, 8 minus of minus 4, 8 minus of minus 4 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, 5 minus of minus 7. You see x2 minus x1, 5, right, 1, 2, 3, y2 minus y1 means 5 minus of minus 7, 5 minus of minus 7 whole square, 8 minus of minus 4 is plus 4, what is 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is 12 square, plus 5 minus of minus 7 is plus 7, and what is 5 plus 7, yes, 12 square. 12 square is 144 and again 12 square 144, it is 144 into 2 and the square root of 144 is 12, 12 root 2 units. It is the length of the first diagonal AC. Now let us find the length of the second diagonal BD. Now in order to find the length of the second diagonal BD, the coordinates of B may be x1, y1 and the coordinates of C should be x2, y2. Again, BD distance root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. x2 minus x1, 5 minus of minus 1, 5 minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square minus 4 minus 2, isn't it? y2 minus y1 minus 4 minus 2, minus 4 minus 2 whole square. This is 5 minus of minus 1 is plus 1, 5 plus 1 is 6 whole square plus minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6 whole square. 6 whole square, 6 6 are 36 plus minus 6 whole square is minus into minus is plus 6 6 are again 36. This is 36 plus 36 is 36 into 2 and the square root of 36 is 6 root 2 units. Now, the first Diagonal length is 12 root 2 and the second diagonal length is 6 root 2. 
Now area of the rhombus half into d1 into d2. This is half into length of the first diagonal 12 root 2, 12 root 2 into length of the second diagonal 6 root 2. This 1 by 2 in 12 6 times 6 into 6 is 36. Root 2 into root 2 is root 4 and square root of 4 is 2. 36 twos is equal to 72 square units. This is the area of the rhombus. Okay, good. Now, let us observe question number 9. You see this. This is question number 9. Dear students, I shall read the question number 9 now. Name the type of the quadrilateral found by the points minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, and minus 3, 0. I shall repeat. Name the type of the quadrilateral found by the points minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, and minus 3, 0. Now, let us verify what type of quadrilateral is this. Let us observe the solution now. We have given four points. Let us name them as A, B, C, and D. For these four points are named as A, B, C, D. And now, let us consider the first two points A and B. The coordinates of A minus 1, minus 2 will be x1 and y1. And the coordinates of B, 1, 0, may be x2, y2. Now, let us find the distance, AB distance. Or the length of the side AB is equal to root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is equal to root over x2 minus x1. 1 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 whole square. 0 minus of minus 2 is plus 2 whole square. 1 plus 1 is 2 square. 0 plus 2 is also 2 square. 2 square plus 2 square. 4 plus 4. That is 4 into 2. Square root of 4 is 2 root 2 units. It is AB distance. Now, let us find BC distance. The coordinates of B, 1, 0, maybe x1, y1. And the coordinates of C, minus 1, 2 or x2, y2. And now, BC distance is equal to root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Minus 1, minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1 whole square. Y2 minus y1 means 2 minus 0 whole square. Minus 1 minus 1 is 2 minus 2 whole square. 2 minus 0 is 2 square. Minus 2 whole square is plus 4 and plus 2 square is also plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 can be written as 4 into 2. Square root of 4 is 2 and this is root 2. 2 root 2 units. This is basic distance. Now CA cons ready. 1, 2, 3. Now CD distance, coordinates of C minus 1, 2, x1, y1. And let us consider the coordinates of D minus 3, 0 as x2, y2. Now CD distance is equal to root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. x2 is minus 3, minus of minus 1 is plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 and 0 minus 2 whole square. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 square. Plus 0 minus 2 is minus 2 square. Minus 2 whole square is plus 4. And this minus 2 whole square is also plus 4. 4 plus 4 is root 8, which is equal to 2 root 2 units. Now of the fourth side, let us find the length of the fourth side. Here D minus 3, 0, x1, y1. And let us consider the coordinates of A minus 1, minus 2 as x2, y2. Now, dA distance. dA distance is equal to root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Minus 1 minus of minus 3 is plus 3. Minus 1 plus 3 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Minus 2 minus 0 whole square. Minus 1 plus 3 is 2 square. Plus minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 whole square. Plus 2 whole square is plus 4 and minus 2 whole square is also plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 is equal to 2 root 2 units. If you observe, all the 4 sides are equal in length. Okay. Now, in this quadrilateral, all the 4 sides are equal. Now, let us verify the, the length of the diagonals now. First diagonal coordinates A and C. A, C. 
coordinates of a minus 1 minus 2 and the coordinates c minus 1 2 ac distance x2 minus x1 means minus 1 plus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 2 minus of minus 2 will be plus 2 2 plus 2 whole square minus 1 plus 1 is 0 square 2 plus 2 is 4 square 0 square is 0 4 square is 16 root over 16 is 4 units it is ac distance or the length of the first diagonal now the length of the second diagonal second diagonal coordinates bd coordinates of b10 and the coordinates of d minus 30 now let us find bd distance x2 minus x1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square means 0 minus 0 whole square minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 whole square and 0 minus 0 is 0 square minus 4 whole square minus into minus plus 4 4 16 plus 0 square is 0 root over 16 is equal to 4 units if you observe all the four sides are equal and two of its diagonals are also equal since the diagonals are equal and all the four sides are equal the given points represent a square you see since a b is equal to b c is equal to c d is equal to d a all four sides are equal and a c is equal to b d diagonals are also equal so a b c d the points form a square is it clear strength very good thank you thank you ananda